What's going on, everybody? I'm Chip Gillum. This is Garage News. It's Monday, July 28th, and it's so fucking hot in this garage right now that if you were in here with me, you would be like, yo, fuck this show. Let's get the fuck up out of here. For real, it's that fucking hot. Shouts out to Fiji. You already know what it is. We about to pop this bitch open because it's way too fucking hot off in here to not have a little bit of dehydration. Pretty good. Now let's go on and get in what you came here for. First story today. after NYPD cop puts him in a chokehold. A 400 pound stat a 400 pound a 400 pound Staten Island man died on Thursday after a cop put him in a chokehold and other officers appeared to slam his head against the sidewalk. I can't breathe, I can't breathe, Eric Garner, 43, reportedly screamed after at least five NYPD officers took him down in front of Tompkinsville Beauty Supply Store when he balked at being handcuffed. With, within moments, Garner, a married man and father of six, with two grandchildren, stopped struggling and appeared to be unconscious as police called paramedics to the scene. An angry crowd gathered, some recording with smartphones. When I kissed this, when I kissed my husband this morning, I never thought it would be for the last time. Garner's wife said. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. If you a policeman and you watching this right now, I spit on you, you pussy. You ain't shit. But a f who got picked on in school, and now you became a cop so you can pick on other people. You worthless fuck. You ain't trying to protect nobody. And you know this. You just power mad. All you power mad, cock sucking, fuck bitch ass cops out there, fuck you. I spit at you, cause you a bitch. Kill this man for nothing. Killing all these other people. Letting motherfucking murderers go. But, uh... Nope. Them dope slangers doing more time than the murderers. Too scared to pull over a motherfucker who looked like he might got guns in his truck. Too scared to pull over a motherfucker who looked like he might got a gun. He, he, he got a batool on the side of him. Too scared to pull over there. But you'll pull over that motherfucking old lady that, that ain't wearing a seatbelt. Or you'll pull over that that girl who, who forgot to use her blinker. Which, by the way, also, this is pissing me off. Don't nobody use their motherfucking blinkers no more. Me, I fuck around use my blinker when I'm turning into a parking spot. Me. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Motherfuckers, y'all need to start using blinkers. For real, this shit pissing me off, man. Y'all start using your blinkers. Now back to the whole cop thing. You know, first off, I want to say that this does not apply to all policemen. That spit, you know those two times, you remember those two times where I had spit at you? Those were for cops, but they weren't for all cops. Because I do know that there are some good cops out there. And there, that there are some good cops out there that are actually trying to protect these fine citizens. But the majority of them are power-hungry fucks who have no real control in their own lives. So they go to a police academy. So they can try to control other people. So they can control something. Try to make their pathetic lives a little better. And there they go. Killing a man. And this ain't the only man. I'm pretty sure within this 27 episodes, because I'm doing 27 episodes of this show. If 
first season. First season run, 27 episodes till September 10th. I am pretty, pretty fucking sure that I will be reading at least one more story, probably before the, even the, before the tenth episode. That I'll be really, really, that I will be reading another police brutality story to you. I'm pretty fucking confident that that's gonna happen. And you wonder why don't nobody respect no bitch ass cops? Cause y'all bitches, y'all bitches, man. Do the right thing, man. Make it work. Stop being bitches, man. Stop killing people for no fucking reason. Just because you got a gun and a fucking badge. That badge don't mean shit. You still a bitch even with your badge. You a bitch. And the sooner you realize that, the better off you and I will be. It's hot as fuck in here. Enough about them, enough about the oinkers. Alabama man set ex girlfriend on fire after argument. You the real MVP. I'm just playing, that's not cool. Michael Kennedy, 48, is accused of dousing his ex girlfriend in gasoline and setting her on fire near Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama woman in serious condition after being set on fire. Police say ex-boyfriend carried out attack. Alabama police were searching for a 48-year-old man who was accused of dousing his girlfriend in gasoline and setting her on fire. Early, early Sunday, authorities told the Los Angeles Times Michael Kennedy showed up at his ex-girlfriend's home near Birmingham shortly before 3 a.m. and set the fire after the two had an argument, said Sergeant Jack Self, public information officer for the Jefferson County Sheriff's, of Sheriff's Office. Sheriff's deputies responded to reports of a fire where they found a 49-year-old woman suffering from burns on her head, shoulders, arms, upper bodies, and legs. The woman was taken into the University of Alabama Birmingham Medical Center where she remained in serious condition, self said. She is expected to survive. So, that's good. You know, I hope you get well soon. And, uh, well, you know, I do hope that they, uh, not necessarily throw the book at this man, but uh, he does need to be punished appropriately for such an outrageous occurrence. You know, you throw a, throw a, throw a rock at this girl, man. Throw a rock. Hit her with this Fiji. Throw a fucking Rubik's Cube at her. You know, spit on her like I did the police. Now I'm just playing. Don't spit on the woman. Don't spit on the woman. But, you know, who set the bitch on fire? Who set the bitch's house on fire? You know, fucking stab out a tire or something, you stupid motherfucker. Set her on fire? Psh. Set my cigarette on fire? Alright, now before we get up out of here, we're going to go into one more story. Dollar Tree is buying Family Dollar. That's right. Dollar Tree is buying rival discount store Family Dollar for about $8.5 million among the big winners. Dollar Tree bought out Family Dollar. If you want the rest, you can Google it. You already know what it is. This is Garage News. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday. I'm going to see you Wednesday. I'm going to get the fuck out of this hot-ass garage. I cannot wait until it starts cooling off. It is entirely too fucking hot in this garage. But I do it for you. You wouldn't do it for me. You would not sit in this damn garage to provide entertainment for me. But you know what? It's cool because I love doing what I do and I love doing it for you. So, all right, everyone. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Monday. I'm going to enjoy the rest of mine. I'm going to see y'all Wednesday. This is Garage News. I am Chilla Gitter.